scientific. So far as concerns philosophy, only a selected group can be explicitly mentioned. There is no point in endeavoring to force the interpretations of divergent philosophers into a vague agreement. What is important is that the scheme of interpretation here is not to claim for each of its main positions the express authority of one, or the other, of some supreme master of thought Plato, Aristotle, Descartes, Locke, Kant. Khan. But ultimately nothing rests on authority, the final court of appeal is the truth of reasonableness. The safest general characterization of the European philosophical tradition is that it consists of a series of footnotes to Plato. I do not mean the systematic scheme of thought which scholars have doubtfully extracted from his writings. I allude to the wealth of general ideas scattered through them. His personal endowment, his wide opportunities for experience at a great period of civilization, his inheritance of an intellectual tradition not yet stiffened by excessive systematization, have made his writings an inexhaustible mine of suggestion. Thus in one sense by stating my belief that the train of thought in these lectures is platonic, I am doing no more than a 